Hi, I'm Claire and this is Abigail. She's nearly six months old. I'm currently on maternity leave for my post as Head of History at a school in North London and I'm beginning to think about issues that are going to concern me on my return. I'm Amanda Brown and I'm the Head of the Employment Conditions and Rights Department at the NUT. One of my big concerns now as she gets older is my return to work and I suppose the most important thing I'm thinking about at the moment is how, when do I have to contact my employer um, about when I plan to go back to work um, and should I be keeping in touch with them at the moment. I have heard of something called going back to work days I don't have that much, I don't know that much about it. I don't know whether you get paid for that or not. Claire won't need to confirm the date of return unless she's returning earlier than the 52 weeks of maternity leave that she's entitled to. It's assumed that you will take the 52 weeks unless you know, let your, your school know that you'll be returning early. If you do want to return early, then you can let them know by giving 21 days if you're in notice if you're entitled to the Burgundy Book provisions and eight weeks notice if you're only entitled to the statutory provisions for leave. Reasonable contact while you're on maternity leave it is a normal um, and it's a way of the employer keeping in touch with you both about what's going on in, at school but also about any issues related to your maternity leave. It shouldn't be very frequent. She can do up to 10 days of keeping in touch days, which is work at school, and she will be paid for that on top of her statutory maternity pay. She doesn't have to do that work, but it's a way of keeping in touch if you want to. I've been really enjoying my time off with Abigail, and it has made me think about whether or not I'd like to perhaps become a full-time mum and give up teaching altogether. I've heard that if I decide I want to stop work completely, I would have to pay back all my maternity pay. If a teacher decides that she doesn't want to return to work and that she wants to be at home with her baby, then she can of course decide to do so, but she would need to resign in the usual way. <laughs> smiles! There might be an entitlement of the employer to reclaim some of the maternity pay that they've paid um, if she doesn't return for at least 13 weeks. And that would be the 12 weeks of half pay that she's received. No, no statutory maternity pay can re be reclaimed. It's only the Burgundy Book entitlement that can be reclaimed by the employer. And again, good girl. Yes, they don't have to reclaim it, so you can ask for them to dis agree not to reclaim it, but they are entitled to if they wish to. My intentions are to return to my post as Head of History. However, I am concerned about um, the workload that I have to take on and trying to be a mum at the same time. Um, and I wondered whether or not I'm entitled to ask for um, a discussion about part-time work and, and who I should go to to discuss that matter. Any teacher's got an opportunity to ask to return part-time or on some other sort of flexible basis. There's no entitlement as such necessarily to, for that to be granted, but certainly you can request it. So think about what you need, put a proposal together. You know your school and you'll know how that might be accommodated. See if you can arrange a meeting with the head teacher, but if necessary get some advice from your union rep as well as to how to approach that. Certainly any, re any request that's reasonable should be properly considered and only refused if there are really good reasons for that. I plan to return to work in September, the start of the new academic year, so things like my timetable would have already been decided for me and it did make me start thinking about other issues um, to do with directed time, things like twilight insets and parents evening and the issue that's going to throw up with childcare. Many people outside education think of teaching as being a flexible job, but of course it's not. The demands of the school day with early mornings and sometimes evening meetings and school trips, inset days, can be very demanding. Whee! Make sure that your head teacher is aware of your childcare needs. If it turns out that you're unable to, to, to um, arrange to be at some meetings, then talk about it in advance and make sure that things are fitted as far as they possibly can be around your needs. You do have a right to be taken into account. Do you like that? <laughs> All timetables should really be drawn up in consultation with teachers. So it's good that a teacher should contact the head teacher and say that they're available to discuss those things. In particular, if you're worried that you've got a heavier timetable or there's any other detriment and you think that's because of being on maternity leave, then you definitely need to get other advice as well. Oh, 
Well, I've heard of something called salary reduction, which involves some vouchers where you can get help with childcare. Um, I'd be really interested to know anything about that because it's all very complicated. Salary sacrifice scheme is something that many teachers are interested in. It's a way of taking a certain amount of your monthly pay and instead of receiving that on a taxed basis, receiving the same gross amount, for example, as childcare vouchers. So, for example, if you agree to sacrifice £50 gross a month of your salary, you will receive £50 of childcare vouchers without paying tax on those. I'm currently a head of department, but in the future I think I'd like to develop my career, but I'd also like to have another child. So it raises issues of, well, how will having another child affect my chances of promotion within my current school? Another financial issue that I, that I came across was the issue of my pension. The fact that I've been paying reduced rates into my pension because of my reduced pay, um, does that affect at all how much I can claim at the end when I decide to retire? While any teacher is taking maternity leave and getting paid, then they'll also be making con pension contributions. So there'll be no impact on, on pension that's received um, on retirement for that period of time where there's been maternity pay. However, if there's any period of unpaid leave, that won't be counted for pension uh, rights. So in fact, that won't be taken into account in the final pension. <laughs> in relation to promotion, of course, there should be no impact at all on a teacher of taking maternity leave. And any teacher who thinks that perhaps they've either been passed over for promotion or have there's been any other detriment in terms of their working conditions really should seek advice from their union. Whee.